In today's video guys, I will show you how to make your Windows 10 or 11 better for gaming. I will cover the best Windows settings that can help you for better gaming performance, boost your FPS and optimize your network. So without wasting the time, let's dive into video. In the first step guys, go to search bar and find device manager. Open device manager, find system devices and disable the composite bus enumerator. Now go to high precision event timer and disable it. After that, you also have to look up for your network adapter. For that, simply search for network adapter, double click on it, and then go over to the power management section. Disable the first option that will help you to fix all of your packet loss and inconsistent network issues. Simply click OK. In the next step guys, simply press Windows plus a key together from your keyboard and you will find out here this window now simply type here GP edit MSC and press enter this will open up this group policy editor window on your computer now you need to go for this computer configuration folder now go for administrative template now go for system now scroll down and you will find out here power management folder so simply go inside it now you need to go for power throttling settings folder and here you will find out turn of power throttling so double tap here now you need to enable the settings on your PC for turning of the power throttling, and this can work on your Windows 10 and 11 on your both operating system. Simply hit apply, click OK. Now it's time to deanimate Windows. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Here, you can adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance, or let Windows choose what's best for your computer, etc. This includes things like showing shadows under the mouse pointer, showing shadows under Windows, showing thumbnails instead of icons and other settings. I only have a few options turned on. These are the ones that I like. This is all for performance and smoothness. It's great for low-end PCs. I have a decent computer, and I still use these settings to keep things simple. Next, hit the advanced tab. This is something we didn't cover last time, where you choose how to allocate processor resources. Set it to adjust for best performance of programs. Make sure this is on programs, as some computers default to background services. If you're playing a game or watching a stream, it will prioritize the primary program, allocating most resources to it. Now go to system configuration, and open it. Go to the boot tab and select advanced options. Set the number of processors to the maximum. This ensures that your CPU is fully utilized during startup. Next, adjust the timeout setting. The standard is 30 seconds, but you can reduce it to 10 seconds for faster boot times if you have a mid to high NPC. If you are using a laptop or low NPC, set it to 20 seconds instead. Adjust gradually and test each time. If your computer crashes, that's a sign you have lowered it too much. Before making changes, make sure to create a restore point to avoid issues like a blue screen of death. Testing a lower timeout is worthwhile. For me, setting it to 10 seconds allows for near instant launches into games and a boot time of under 3 seconds. Once you've set your preferred options, Hit apply. Now go simply download this free Windows Optimizer software from my Discord server linked in the description. This tool helps optimize Windows settings in one click. After installation, there you will find your system settings. So make sure to enable all the system optimizations, including optimize performance, show all notification icons, remove menu delay, optimize the network, disable error reporting, disable compatibility assistant, disable print service, disable sticky keys, disable smart screen, and enable UTC time. This will basically optimize and disable all the unused applications and services of your Windows. The next you will find disk drives follow the same settings. Now, go for the apps tab and also make sure to turn on all the settings. Now, go for privacy and also turn on all these settings on your PC. Now, you need to go for the next step. There is your Windows 10 folder. If you have Windows 10, it will show you Windows 10. Go for it. And here you will find the system settings again. So guys, make sure to follow the same settings on your PC as well. Now, you need to go for Windows Update. You can also disable automatic updates, but I will not suggest you do anything else. Just simply follow the same settings also on your PC, like privacy settings. Make sure to turn on all this optimization. For gaming, turn on all this optimization. And for touch, Make sure to turn on all this optimization. Next, go for the cleaner tab. This is for optimization. Checkmark here BFOD. Mini dumps, checkmark here. 
error reports, check mark here, and empty recycle bin. Make sure to also check mark here if you want to reset any browser cache. You can also go for it, but I will not select any from it. Now, click on this analyze button. This would analyze all your temporary files and other things. Now, click on this clean button and clean all these junk files out of your windows. After that, you need to go for universal windows apps. Here, you'll find the option to uninstall unwanted universal windows apps. You can uninstall all the unused applications from here, but I suggest you leave this tab. After all these settings, restart your PC. Here we got our free gear up booster FPS boost. So double tap here and now here you will find that. Copy and search this link in the browser. You have to simply copy this link from here. Open up any browser, paste the link, search, and download the gear up booster on your PC. Next, here you will find out extra 15 days free trial using this coupon code. So guys, one of the luckiest person can claim this code for free 15 days. Here you will find this kind of interface. So now, you need to go for your Fortnite or whatever game in which you want to optimize your ping. You can go to the games tab, and here you will find thousands of games. So, you need to go to your home tab, and you will find the installed game automatically. Now click on this boost button, and guys, this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. So, guys, once you are connected with the gear up booster, here you will find out this kind of region and node. This will automatically find everything for you. You do not have to change anything from here. So, guys, click on this launch game button and make sure to launch your game after launching the gear booster. Next, go to game mode settings and disable game bar. Use NVIDIA GeForce Experience instead, as it's much lighter on your processors. Xbox services can use upwards of 30 processors, whereas NVIDIA uses only 2 or 3. Game mode. If you have an average or above average PC, keep it on. If you have a low average PC, turn it off, as it may cause strain on your CPU. Then go to settings, then system, and turn off notifications, and focus assist. These features run in the background and strain your CPU. Also, turn off snap windows, timeline, and remote desktop. Let's remove the apps that open automatically when you start your PC. Go to Task Manager, click on Startup, and turn off all unnecessary apps. Even if you use an app regularly, it is better to turn it off here and open it manually later. This reduces background processes that strain your GPU, CPU, and RAM. In the next step, open up Task Manager, go to Services, and scroll down to the bottom. Look for Xbox Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox GRPS VC and Xbox Net. You'll want to turn off these three. Personally, I don't use the Xbox control panel, and most of you watching likely won't need it either. If you're using Xbox Game Bar to capture clips, it's better to turn that up too. Right click on each and hit stop. That's all you need to do for each of them. So guys, that was today's video. I hope you liked this. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe this channel. Peace out.